Welcome back to the Crypto Wild channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now Ethereum is in a deciding moment. Not just because of this pattern just here, but also because of this very important level of support. And on top of that, Ethereum is right now forming a brand new price pattern that I will be covering later in this video. So definitely make sure you're watching all the way to the end of this video so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, make sure to leave a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates updates just like this every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into what this video is about. So right here, we're on the Ethereum to US dollar chart on the four hour time frame, And this is the head and shoulders pattern that I have been talking about for around a week now on the channel. But if you've been watching my last few Ethereum update videos, you will notice that I have slightly adjusted this pattern to fit in all of this price action as the left shoulder. Previously, I had this pattern just using this price action as the left shoulder. And right now the neckline for this pattern is coming in at around 3,740 US dollars per Ethereum. So basically, if Ethereum starts breaking below 3.7k, then that is how you know we're beginning to break to the downside for this head and shoulders pattern on the four hour time frame. And obviously, if that happens, that is a bearish sign for Ethereum moving forward. And speaking about head and shoulders patterns, zooming into the two hour time frame for Ethereum, this is the head and shoulders pattern that I mentioned yesterday on the channel. And this price area just here is actually the right shoulder for this larger head and shoulders pattern on the four hour chart. So you can see here, this is the head and shoulders pattern that we're looking at here on the two hour time frame. And then neckline for this pattern is coming in at around 3,850 approximately. And so obviously since yesterday, Ethereum has broken below that neckline, which is technically a short-term bearish signal for Ethereum. But right now we are in the retest phase for this break to the downside. And for the beginners out there, that just means that Ethereum is retesting this previous line of supports, the neckline just here, to potentially flip it into resistance if we are to confirm this pattern. But if we break back above the neckline, then this pattern is invalidated on the two hour time frame. So basically, the level that the bulls need to reclaim really soon is coming in at around 3,850. But really, if we can start getting above around 3.9K, that would be great to see for the bulls. But for the Ethereum bears out there, those that might be looking at lower prices to enter into Ethereum or those that might be entering into an Ethereum short position. Ideally, in the bearish scenario, we would need to see a rejection from that level to confirm that neckline as resistance, which would confirm the break to the downside. And the technical price target for this pattern is coming in at around 3,000 US dollars. But keep in mind, that is just the technical price target for this pattern. And quite often, price targets on the charts don't get met. So even if we see a rejection from this neckline here, yes, that will be a bearish signal. And yes, it's very likely we'll see some lower prices, but obviously, we're not guaranteed to go down to 3000 just because of this pattern. For example, we have a huge amount of supports coming in between the current Ethereum price and 3000. And we can see that here on the daily time frame for Ethereum, bringing out the VP VR indicator, what we have is this huge cluster of volume starting at around three and a half thousand US dollars. So if we confirm those head and shoulders patterns with the breaks to the downside, then probably the first stop would be at around three and a half K. And this range of supports, according to the VP VR indicator, ranges all the way down towards 3000. US dollars, which is that technical price target for the head and shoulders pattern. And the biggest cluster of volume just here is coming in at around 3.3K. And I mentioned in the beginning of this video that right now Ethereum is in the deciding moment, not just because of these head and shoulders patterns, but also because of this line of supports. This is the 120 day simple moving average. And right now it's coming in at just above 3.8K. So if Ethereum can push above 3.8K and hold above 3.8K for the next daily candle close, then technically that would mean that we're still holding onto this line of supports just here. But if we see another one to two daily candle closes below 3.8k, that is how you know that Ethereum is beginning to lose its grip on that moving average. And once again, in that more bearish scenario, I would be looking towards around three and a half thousand approximately. But despite all of those bearish signals happening right now on the Ethereum chart, we do have this bullish pattern forming on the four hour time frame for Ethereum, which is of course a falling wedge pattern. And the stats for this pattern is around seven times out of 10, they break to the upside and about three times out of 10, they break to the downside. So Technically speaking, it is more likely for these patterns to break to the upside, but it's still not impossible for it to break to the downside. But ideally for this pattern, and as for most patterns out there, it's best to wait for confirmation of either a break below support or a break above resistance before taking action if you're wanting to trade a pattern like this. Right now, this line of support is coming in at around 3.7K, which is really the last level of support. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video with that first head and shoulders pattern on the four hour time frame. So if we break below that level, once again, I'll be looking to towards around three and a half thousand. But if we break above the resistance, which is right now coming in at just above 4,000 US dollars, close towards 4.1K. And so if Ethereum can really turn around here and break above that point of resistance, then the technical price target for this pattern is towards the top of the falling 
wedge, which is right now coming in between 4.7K and 4.8K. And zooming all the way out on the daily timeframe for Ethereum, you can see the current falling wedge pattern that we just talked about, but you can see that Ethereum also formed some other falling wedge patterns previously throughout this year. And so far, the last couple falling wedge patterns have broken out to the upside as they technically are more likely to. But remember, out of every 10 falling wedge patterns that we see, roughly around seven out of 10 break to the upside and about three out of 10 break to the downside. And just giving you a really quick update on Ethereum versus Bitcoin on the daily timeframe. What I have to say about this today is basically the same thing that I said yesterday and the day before that and the day before that. We've been expecting basically this exact price action for a couple weeks now. Obviously, we had that breakout to the upside looking bullish here with that short term altcoin season. And then as we entered into overbought territories on the daily RSI, getting a little bit overheated here in the short term, I was letting you know right here that we are due for some sort of short term cool off. And for as long as we're remaining above this line right here, coming in at around 0.076 Bitcoin per Ethereum, then we're still looking all right for this breakout to the upside because technically we don't invalidate this breakout and we don't invalidate this pattern while we're remaining above that level. But if we break below that level that I just mentioned, yes, we would be flipping a little bit more bearish in the immediate short term as we would be invalidating this pattern in that scenario. But if we can see a successful bounce along that level or anywhere above that level, then this breakout to the upside is still in play, technically speaking, and the price target is coming in towards around 0.1 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And beside from the fact that we will do for a short term call off because we were entering into overbought territories in the daily RSI, we are also seeing a bit of a pullback for Ethereum against Bitcoin due to the fact that the Bitcoin dominance is seeing a bounce in the immediate short term. So as I mentioned over the past couple of days, this is putting an end to that short term altcoin season that we've been in for around one and a half to two months. But eventually the Bitcoin dominance will reach a point in time where it will come back to the downside. And when that happens, that's when the altcoin are going to start doing better than Bitcoin again. And especially if the Bitcoin dominance breaks below this level of support coming in at around 40% dominance, then something like that would signal a major altcoin season. So that's definitely something to pay attention to. But obviously right now, we're not seeing that just yet. I constantly let you know that anytime the market is looking really bearish and everyone's in extreme fear, those are the times where I'm slowly dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin and Ethereum to hold that for the longer term. And that is exactly what I'm doing right now for Ethereum. I've used that same strategy many times over the years in crypto of just dollar cost averaging after we've seen a lot of bearish price action and the market is in panic. And almost every single time, just within a few months, I'm back into profits again. If you want to get extra real-time updates throughout the day, like for example, how Elon Musk posted a single tweet about Dogecoin and then the price of Dogecoin exploded, make sure you follow me over on my Twitter to stay up to date in the crypto markets at all times. And the link to my Twitter is in the description down below and also in the pinned comments. If you enjoyed this video or got something valuable out of it, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. And before you click off, especially for the new viewers on the channel, make sure you're checking out one of these uploads if you haven't already, because these videos just here can potentially help you make a lot more money in the crypto markets. And as always, I honestly do appreciate all of your support in the channel at the moment. I can't thank you guys enough. But anyway, that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.